For decades, dinosaurs were imagined as drab, monotone creatures. The early depictions of these magnificent beasts were often limited to shades of gray, green, or brown. This was not due to a lack of creativity but rather a reflection of the scientific understanding of the time. Paleontologists and artists had to rely on the available evidence, which was primarily bones and teeth. The fossil record, while rich in skeletal remains, offered little in the way of skin or scale preservation. This lack of direct evidence left much to the imagination. They were often depicted in shades of gray, green, or brown. These colors were chosen because they were commonly seen in modern reptiles such as lizards and crocodiles. The assumption was that dinosaurs being reptiles would share similar color palettes. This led to a rather dull and uniform portrayal of these ancient creatures. This perception stemmed from the limitations of fossil evidence. Scientists could study bones and teeth, but skin and scales rarely survived the fossilization process. Without these crucial details it was challenging to make accurate reconstructions of dinosaur appearance. Scientists could study bones and teeth, but skin and scales rarely survived the fossilization process. The absence of these elements meant that the true colors of dinosaurs remained a mystery for a long time. Early paleo artists had to fill in the gaps with their imagination. Without this crucial information the true colors of dinosaurs remained a mystery. Early paleo artists relied heavily on their imagination, often drawing inspiration from modern reptiles like crocodiles and lizards. This resulted in a rather limited and inaccurate view of the dinosaur world. Early paleo artists relied on their imagination, often drawing inspiration from modern reptiles like crocodiles and lizards. They would look at the muted tones of these animals and project them onto their dinosaur reconstructions. This approach, while creative, did not capture the true diversity and vibrancy of dinosaur life. This resulted in a rather limited and inaccurate view of the dinosaur world. The artwork from this period, while iconic, painted a picture of a world that was far less colorful than it likely was. These early depictions influenced public perception and scientific thought for many years. However, recent discoveries have shattered this monochromatic image of the past. Fossilized feathers and advanced imaging techniques have revealed that many dinosaurs were adorned with vibrant colors and intricate patterns. These findings have revolutionized our understanding of dinosaur appearance. Thanks to groundbreaking advancements in paleontology, we now know that dinosaurs were far more colorful than we ever imagined. The discovery of melanosomes and fossilized feathers has allowed scientists to reconstruct the colors of these ancient creatures with remarkable accuracy. These discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of dinosaur appearance and behavior. The vibrant colors suggest that dinosaurs may have used their plumage for display, camouflage or even mating rituals, much like modern birds. They have also ignited a renewed sense of wonder and excitement in the study of these ancient creatures. The colorful reconstructions have captivated the public's imagination and inspired a new generation of paleontologists to explore the mysteries of the prehistoric world. One of the most significant breakthroughs in dinosaur coloration came with the discovery of melanosomes. These microscopic structures are responsible for producing and storing melanin, the pigment that gives color to skin, hair, and feathers. Remarkably, melanosomes can survive fossilization, preserving their shape and distribution within fossilized feathers and skin. By studying the shape, size, and arrangement of melanosomes in fossils, scientists can infer the colors they produced. Different types of melanin create different colors. For example, rounder melanosomes are associated with reddish-brown hues, while elongated melanosomes produce black and iridescent colors. This discovery has allowed scientists to reconstruct the color patterns of various dinosaur species with remarkable accuracy. Another method employed by paleontologists involves drawing comparisons between dinosaurs and their modern-day relatives. By studying the coloration of birds, the only surviving lineage of dinosaurs and reptiles, scientists can make educated guesses about the potential colors of extinct dinosaurs. This approach is based on the principle of phylogenetic bracketing which assumes that features shared by closely related groups were likely present in their common ancestor. For instance, many modern birds exhibit vibrant colors and intricate patterns for camouflage, display, and species recognition. It is plausible that their dinosaur ancestors employed similar color strategies for survival and communication. By analyzing the ecological niches, behaviors, and evolutionary relationships between dinosaurs and their modern counterparts, 
Scientists can gain valuable insights into the potential hues that adorn these prehistoric creatures. Section 4, Chemical Analysis, Unlocking the Secrets of Fossilized Pigments. In this section we delve into the fascinating world of fossilized pigments and the advanced techniques used to uncover them. In addition to melanosomes which are tiny organelles that contain melanin, scientists have also uncovered other pigments preserved in fossilized tissues. These discoveries have opened up new avenues for understanding the appearance of ancient creatures. These pigments, such as carotenoids and porphyrins, produce a wider range of colors beyond the black, brown and reddish hues generated by melanin. Carotenoids, for instance, are organic pigments that are found in the chloroplasts and chromoplasts of plants as well as in some bacteria and fungi. Carotenoids, for example, are responsible for the bright yellows, oranges and reds found in many birds, fish and plants. These pigments play a crucial role in the coloration of feathers, scales and even some flowers, contributing to the vibrant diversity we see in nature today. Advanced chemical analysis techniques such as mass spectrometry and X-ray fluorescence allow scientists to identify and analyze the chemical signatures of these pigments in fossils. Mass spectrometry helps in determining the molecular composition of pigments, while X-ray fluorescence provides insights into the elemental composition. By comparing these signatures to known pigment profiles in living organisms, researchers can determine the presence and potential color contributions of these additional pigments. This comparative analysis is crucial for reconstructing the possible colors that adorn the skin, feathers, or scales of ancient creatures. This approach provides a more comprehensive understanding of the color palette available to dinosaurs. By piecing together these chemical clues, scientists can create more accurate and vivid reconstructions of what these magnificent creatures might have looked like, bringing the prehistoric world to life in ways we never thought possible. Section 5, A Rainbow of Revelations, Unveiling the True Colors of Dinosaurs Dinosaurs have long fascinated us with their sheer size and mysterious extinction, but recent discoveries have added a new layer to our understanding of these ancient creatures. The vibrant colors that once adorned their bodies are now coming to light thanks to the tireless efforts of paleontologists and cutting-edge technology. Thanks to these groundbreaking techniques, scientists have made astonishing discoveries about the true colors of dinosaurs. By analyzing microscopic structures called melanosomes, which are responsible for pigment in feathers and skin, researchers can now reconstruct the colors of these long-extinct animals with remarkable accuracy. One remarkable example is Anchiornis, a small feathered dinosaur that lived around 160 million years ago. This creature, no larger than a modern crow, has provided some of the most detailed insights into dinosaur coloration. Melanosome analysis revealed that Anchiornis sported a striking combination of black, white, and reddish-brown feathers. This discovery was groundbreaking, as it allowed scientists to visualize the appearance of a dinosaur in vivid detail for the first time. Its head was adorned with a crown of reddish-brown feathers, while its wings displayed black and white stripes. This intricate patterning suggests that color may have played a role in communication, camouflage, or even mating displays, much like in modern birds. Another fascinating case is Psittacosaurus, a small horned dinosaur. Unlike Anchiornis, Psittacosaurus did not have feathers but instead had a unique skin texture that has provided valuable insights into dinosaur coloration. Analysis of its fossilized skin revealed that it had a countershaded pattern, with a darker back and a lighter underside. This type of coloration is particularly interesting because it is a common form of camouflage in modern animals, helping them blend into their environments by reducing shadows. This type of coloration, also common in modern animals, helps to camouflage them by counteracting the effects of light and shadow. It suggests that even millions of years ago, dinosaurs were using sophisticated methods to avoid predators or sneak up on prey. Cynosauropteryx, a small feathered dinosaur from China, provided the first compelling evidence of feathered dinosaurs. This discovery was a turning point in paleontology, as it challenged the traditional view of dinosaurs as purely scaly reptiles. Melanosome analysis revealed that Cynosauropteryx had reddish-brown feathers arranged in a banded pattern along its tail. This banding pattern is similar to that seen in some modern birds, suggesting a possible evolutionary link. This discovery not only shed light on the creature's appearance but also provided crucial insights into the evolution of feathers. It suggested that feathers may have originally evolved for purposes other than flight, such as insulation or display. 
Carnotaurus, a large predatory dinosaur, also possessed intriguing skin features. Unlike the feathered dinosaurs, Carnotaurus had a unique arrangement of scales that has fascinated scientists. Fossilized skin impressions revealed that its body was covered in small, bumpy scales, interspersed with larger, conical scales arranged in rows along its back and sides. These scales may have served a variety of functions from protection to display. While the exact coloration of these scales remains unknown, the discovery provides valuable information about the texture and potential for display in dinosaur skin. The study of these ancient creatures continues to evolve, revealing a world far more colorful and complex than we ever imagined.